Oh, hi. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to do all the YouTube things. Comment, subscribe, and slap that like button like you would when putting on a pair of gloves to clean. Because it's National Cleaning Week, just in time for the warmer weather. Cleaning up can also improve your mood, decrease stress levels, and increase your creativity. Take some before and after pics so you'll be proud. I hope you are all staying safe, getting vaccinated, social distancing, and wearing a cute bear mask. Like one modeled after yours truly. Find it on LemonBrat.com. So affordable. Here's an exclusive monologue editorial by Azu Gabbard. Monkey see, monkey do. Do dictators copy pasta attempt to do what ex-president Donald Trump did do do? Monkey saw and monkey did do. Excuse the joke, but apparently, after an almost five year stint at what was the first American monarchy monopoly, the world sat and watched as ex-president and soon to be bleach watched from history Donald Trump spouted rhetoric that cancel culture and that the voting was rigged during his victory, where he won an electoral college but lost a majority of votes before his term in office, and still went on going with close to 310 lawsuits and bitter statements. Then after when losing his office, the same statements and passionate speeches in thousands of rallies which caused him to lead the Capitol riots with his supporters to a coup on our nation's capital. That has stood as a testament to capitalism and democracy as a beacon on January 6th. His actions would be watched by other nations, and one had already fallen to the trap of, if anything you can do, I can do better. The country of Myanmar on February 4th lost its democratic process when General Min An Lang, along with military officials, successfully ran a coup of their own against the Capitol building and spouting the same propaganda as Donald Trump did and is continuing to do so. This uprising has already claimed numerous of lives and is leading the country into chaos. The United Nations said on Thursday that at least 54 people have been killed since the coup. More than 1,700 people have been arrested, including 29 journalists. And these are the numbers that were allowed to be be released. Not even the numbers of what this upheaval can do locally to the indigenous citizens and their lives. The democratic process was denied in November after the election. De facto leader An San Suu Kyi, who had won national election in November, the army seized power alleging fraud, claims that the electoral commission has dismissed. Not only once they stormed the capital, they wanted to storm the bank and remove $1 billion into the coffers of the county's federal cash into the military's traders' pockets. Ultimately, current president of the U.S. Biden said on February 10th that the United States was going to take steps to prevent the generals from improperly having access to $1 billion in Myanmar government funds. Biden's office quashed any use of the funds to those international terrorism and prevent them from further exacerbating international tensions. The Myanmar army officials were in charge and made the entire process at their own national bank to try and circumvent jurisdictional bounds and the bank to do their bidding. But Biden stopped them steals. See what I did there? They were going to commit bad things and a good president would do something against those people who would try to kill a country's hope of a democratic process and not act like a pseudo man-child that can't handle a loss like a man. Ultimately, the reverberations of the actions of Donald Trump will be felt for decades to come and the amount of headaches and copycats will be a dime a dozen. Our thoughts are with Myanmar and their citizens and with Biden in charge, we will be watching, acting if we must. Thanks, Azu. Speaking of watching, let's watch some news. Welcome to Barely a Bar's Woke 52 Season 2 Week 12. I'm your failing TikTok stealing follower Hila Hila. You know, after a long day, this was much needed. Um, yes, Lil Nas X is right. After a long week, I'm just gonna need several dips in a tub. Just gotta go and get my tub going. Hmm, how was he holding his video up anyway? I think I'm gonna need a bigger tub. <laughs>
the U.S. is seeing mass shootings and mental illness back in the news. Last week it was three Asian massage parlors, and this week a gunman fired on choppers in the grocery store. Republicans who are funded by gun groups came out to repeat the same pro-gun speeches we hear every time this happens. Biden's first press conference showed the president who isn't afraid to issue an executive order to take care of the situation. Republicans threatened to filibuster any measures Democrats pushed for gun control. Republicans are doing the same for voting rights as GOP states actively signed into law voter suppression to try to make it harder for minority communities to vote. Even being cartoonishly evil and banning giving food and water to elderly people who have to wait hours in line to vote. Dominion Voting Systems has filed lawsuits against Trump lawyer Sidney Powell and Fox News for the false claims about rigging the election against Trump. Lies have billion dollar consequences in this case. Powell argues that her case should be thrown out because no reasonable person would ever believe her claims. To explain more, this also means she lied. Trump lost. Done. Rutgers, the State University of New Jersey is the first to announce that students can come in person this fall with proof of vaccination. Boom! 52 seconds. Now, 52 seconds is not a lot of time to catch all the news happening. So here's one of our contributors in our segment, 59 Seconds with Sky Bear. Hope you guys been having a good- wait, wait, no, wait! Oh, we gotta keep the other person down. <laughs> Unfortunately, we lost two powerhouses this week. George Segal died on March 23rd. He was 87. Death was unfortunately linked to a bypass surgery he had. And then we also lost powerhouse Jessica Walters. She passed away in her sleep on March the 24th in New York City. I'm sending my love to both of these families. Who else was traumatized this week because of some foolishness that happened with Cinnamon Toast Front? Me. Definitely me. So work with me, y'all. But Jensen Carp, who is married to Topanga from Boy Meets World, opened up a box of Cinnamon Toast Crunch and found these items inside the bag. There's a lot of memes coming out from this. The truth comes out one way or another. Next video dropping. Be it's time to switch it up. His ex, Call Me By Your Name, has dropped, and it's a love letter to himself. Go check out the video on YouTube and listen to the song on Spotify and Apple iTunes. I, I cried when I saw this. So support this king, and thank you, Lil Nas. Fantasy 8 remaster is on sale for Android and iOS for $17. You better get it before April the 4th when it goes back up to 20. Amazing. Thanks, Sky Bear. Thank you for watching. If you like these news blasts, feel free to share Bear with your friends. You can also like, comment, subscribe, and click the notifications alert bell to stay woke 52 times a year in 52 seconds of news. Want more news with your favorite news bear? Feel free to stay to the end to watch some clips or images with me. Bye for now.